Hello and welcome back to Von Miller's and Plays Darkfall, the journal! So last time we were exploring this storeroom and there is this rather ominous ladder upwards. And uh, it's clearly wind whistling noises. We can't look down, nope. Uh, let's just stick our nose up here. We. This does not seem like a friendly place. Why is everything kind of tilted at a weird angle? Okay, what have we got? Nothing much here, we can go back downstairs. It looks like we can examine the hot water controls. We can walk forward into the room. And we can walk forward into the room this way. Let's go this way first. And pray to Jeebus that it's not a terrible, terrible error. Uh, okay, we can walk forward that way and we can't go any further forward there. So let's go this way. And uh, now we can go down there. Can't examine anything there, or we can have a look here. Okay, some of these cases up here. Now it's not the. We don't have the key for it. The bar key is not going to do the trick. And it's not that thing. Hmm. Can't do anything else there right now. Yes, 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 yes. Hotel Astoria, Hook of Holland, maybe? Swiss Air, London. So somebody's done a fair bit of traveling. But we need the key. Okay, nothing more to be done. Uh, so let's head further down this way. Can't use my torch. Another painting of what appears to be a monarch of some variety. Nothing there, just the old stone wall of the hotel. Okay. Oh, a Ouija board. Of course. Oh, of course. Um. Oh, what do we want to say? Uh, George? Say. Uh, how to say. How say. Okay, let's try. Hello. So it's not pressing enter. It is clicking the word say. Yes. Um, Edith? No. Uh, we could try one of the random words, like uh, phrenic, for example. No. Or, let's see, Lusa. L U S S A. No. Try one more random word. Uh, D G G T. Cars. The very first one we were given. Let's try it in caps. In case it makes it different. Oh, I can't type in caps here. Okay. And no. All right. I don't really know what I'm asking for there yet. So uh, let's just not. Can't light that up anymore. It's very dark. So let's just walk out of there. Now we can head this way. Ah, we have more controls over here and more paintings. I'm getting quite the close up on this one for some reason. The game's creator was impressed at his high resolution texture or something and wanted to show it off. Who can say? Now, I don't particularly want to fiddle with the boiler at the moment because I don't really have a reason to do it. Like, we can look at the controls. Yeah. Like, I, 
don't have a reason to fiddle with that, so I kind of just don't want to. So we do have a, one or two other things that we can do. We seem to have reached the very top of the hotel now at this stage. Let's head back downstairs. I want to go and have a look at some of the, the constellation stuff that we found, because we did get four people's names, Betty, Fly, Grable, and Edith, and we got their words, which seem to be words belong to constellations. So I want to see if we can use those constellations then to tie them to symbols. Oh, hang on. We keep seeing that little light sprite floating around the place. It's not going into either of these. Uh, so we want to go into room 2E. Let's head back downstairs. That's 2A. Here's 2E. All right, so we want to head this way and then examine the wardrobe, blah, blah, blah. So first of all, that symbol right there uh, is... That symbol appeared in, yeah, that was the thing when we were looking through the telescope and he said, I don't recognize that one at all. Uh, now, the only thing I can see beside it is Capricornus, which is obviously this constellation here. Uh, so there's no name beside the constellation. So I was hoping to find a name that we could use in the journal, but I guess not. So anyway, constellation names. All right, Fenric. Fenric is Miss Grable. And we have that one there. Now, what I'd really like to find is Morcana, because Morcana is uh, Miss Fly's symbol, and we actually did find a symbol in Miss Fly's room. Uh, and I just want to see if it matches. So it's not there. Uh, Morcana. Oh, look, that weird cross symbol is Raka. So we want to look out for that one. Now I am not seeing Morcana here, so possibly I was barking up the wrong tree with the whole uh, with the whole uh, constellations being the the words of power kind of thing. And I don't see I don't see cars here either. There's cars on this one. No. But we do have, uh, where is it now? Raka, or A-K-A. So if we head back here and have a look at, no, not there. Where was his list of constellations? It was in the journal that's here somewhere. So we're looking for Raka. And see, there's uh, this. F uh, oh, that's Fenric, not Frenic. Hmm. There's Raka. Okay, so potentially the combination then is going to be uh, one, two, five, three, four, seven, six. One, two. Five, three, four, seven, six. And now uh, the buttons were numbered uh, in the little note in the wardrobe. If we can flick back to it briefly, there was a note in here that uh, gave the code, the button numbers as being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we would have uh, one, two, press those, then five, three, four, and then seven, six. So let's give that a shot. So we'd have one, two, five, three, four, seven, six. Ha ha, victory. Okay. Hmm. I'm not too sure why George gave me this. It was a bag of nerves at the time. It's written on vellum, you know. Do you know what that is? It's skin. Animal skin, we can hope. Well, hopefully. Now, that is terribly interesting because that symbol is essentially... 
uh, the the constellation for Raqqa, which was that kind of number four with the line sticking out and a kind of a, a wiggly thing at the end, which is essentially what we've got here. So that's going to be uh, his symbol. So that is uh, Andrew's symbol. Okay, so we've got that figured out. And then the next thing I want to work out is the uh, the monarch's lockbox. So let me go and find that box again. Okay, so here we are back again at the lockbox. Now, uh, this picture down on the ground floor had uh, Henry V on it. Uh, I, I looked up this picture and it is indeed a famous painting. I knew I'd seen it before. Uh, this is a painting of Henry VIII. So let me dial that one up and she must be somebody the first. Okay, well that was convenient because I had no idea who she was. I was just going to brute force it by just rolling through all of her numbers. Ha! Huh, right, what have we got? We have a scrap of paper with some symbols. Damn! One of the lyrics has been lost, taken from me. It consumed it. It knows what I plan. It must know. The incantation will not work if the verse is incomplete. I am not giving up. There are helpful words to digest in the alchemist's guides and dictionaries. I haven't learned what the, uh, what the blurb means. I he haven't learned that the means by which uh, we release it will also allow me to see its nemesis. I will see the missing lyric. I must work on the runes need casting salvation and damnation. Well, that's interesting. Let me uh, go ahead and jot these symbols down. Now it looks like the one on the left has a slightly displaced sidebar. I don't know if that's important or not. Okay, so we have that, and ah, there we go. There's the other part of the photograph. So let me finish that. Uh, so we have the bottom half of the circle, and then on the lower thing we have chalk. And then over there is bronze. Okay, so chalk and bronze. Right. Now I have to remember where the hell that thing was. Because <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be the next puzzle we work on, because I literally don't think I have anything else. Ah, it's right here in the room across the hall. Okay. So we have chalk, which I'm going to assume is a super pale one, and it kind of goes down here on the bottom. And then we have bronze, which I'm going to guess is this metallic -y one, and it goes over here. And then we had, and I don't know if I'm actually ready to do this yet. Like, I really hope this isn't summoning the great evil or something. Maybe I should just save briefly before we start mucking around to this stuff. Bloop. Okay. So then we had sandstone up here. Oh, you won't let me. Okay. And then we had the wood over here. That's weird, the way it's kind of snapping sometimes. Okay, well, let's assume sandstone and wood, and then the other two then were chalk and bronze. Hmm. I may need to go and refer to the original drawing again in case I've... I thought these were like inside the circle here. Hmm, I'll have to see how precise it needs to be. Uh, let me go and check the original photo again.
Ah, here we go. Okay, right, right, right. So I, I do have that very wrong. So it's on the... The sandstone one is up on the upper corner, but the wood one is well off to the side. So the thing kind of curves down and the wood goes on it there. Right. So let me head back up to the to the thing. Okay. So, so the sandstone one we're assuming is this, and it goes like here somewhere. And the wood one goes there. And then we have chalk. Yep. And chalk goes pretty much under the bowl, like here. And then that one goes there-ish. I wonder how precise does it want me to get these? Because like, I'm assuming what's going to happen is that when I get these positioned correctly, this still water that is supposed to be able to, I guess, reflect the future and reflect the past or something will maybe show us another symbol or something. And I was kind of hoping that it would be fairly forgiving on showing you where exactly these symbols had to be placed. Like, fair enough that I was putting them inside the circle when they're supposed to be on the lines, but, like, there's no, there's no snapping kind of going on here. Ugh, how tedious. All right, uh, let me go and see if I can make very precise measurements as to where these bloody symbols are supposed to be, and I will bring you back. Okay, so... As near as I can place it, the wood one, which I am assuming is this large one right here, because it looks to have a kind of wooden -y texture on it, goes with the circle, just kind of revealing the inner curve of the outer white chalk line with the thing just above where that wood gets lighter. There, like that. Okay, that's wood. Now, sandstone, which I'm assuming to be this one, because that looks like metal to me and that looks like chalk. So I'm assuming this then is sandstone. This one, we have this dark blob here and the sandstone circle is kind of the bar is just kind of touching it like that and just kind of to the edge of it, like here-ish, there. Okay, that's those two. Now, chalk. As I refer to a photograph I took of the screen here, uh, chalk comes down here on this line where these two kind of intercept and then it's up a wee bit and that dark blob texture in the wood here is just kind of between these two prongs of the chalk thing and then bronze we have this waggly bit in the dark wood band and the bronze goes just about there Let me just double check. Yeah, it's just about here somewhere. So, near as I can tell, that is where all of these things go. So the bronze and the wood are actually really close together. Unless that's not, unless that's not bronze, maybe that's the sandstone and that's the bronze. But this looks like it's supposed to be more metallic. I would have said. So, hmm, really not sure about that one, unless I'm supposed to chuck something in the water, but I haven't read anything about that that I'm aware of. And there was only the four symbols in the torn up photograph. And it definitely had 
super bright one, which is chalk being down there. Let me try swapping these around just in case. I'm misinterpreting the bronze and the sandstone. So again, the dark swirl in the wood and Yeah, no. And then of course it resets when you when you go back. Oh wait, hang on. That one's still up there. And chalk's still down there, and that one's still there, so maybe I just had this in the wrong place. Um Hmm, then let me swap these around after all. I walk away from the table. So it doesn't like my position of the wooden one, but it's exactly like it is in the photo. I would have said just about here. But the other ones are all saying put. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it's just a bug because it doesn't really seem to matter where I put that one. It's remembering its position just fine, but the wooden one is being reset every time. Like if I put the wooden one there and come back, it's moved it down, but it's not resetting the position of any of the others. Hmm. Okay, not sure about that well okay the other thing that we have then is we have this key here so let's very quickly go and see if we can open the locked door that was on this floor i forget which one it was now but it was one of the ones down here wasn't that one Wasn't that one? Ah, it's this one. So let's try the key. No. Now I think there was also a locked door on the previous on the previous floor. But again, I'm don't exactly remember which one of these doors it was, so let me just try them all. Okay. D is locked. Excellent. Okay. Intriguing. Oh, this must have been where the students were based. Yeah, I want to believe. Fair enough. They must have put that poster up themselves. It is a bit contemporary given the uh, the status of the hotel. Uh, minimal electrical activity? I would have thought this room would have been screaming with electrical activity. Uh, okay, let's see what we've got. Crowhurst, superior architecture. Hi there, Polly, Nigel. How's ghost hunting coming along? I still think you're wasting your time, but never mind, as long as you're having fun. I'm going to be working here late all week, uh, mapping, surveying the old platform, so if you hear any strange noises outside, it's probably me, or is it? Ha ha ha. Pete Crowhurst. P.S. Have you been talking to the papers? So here's Darrington. Um... 
guess this is the railway. I guess it's by the symbol, or maybe this is railway here. Ah, oh, yeah, look, train station disused, hotel room south. Okay, so we're a little bit outside of the outside of the village itself. Okay, free delivery, Carolina, free corn cob with orders over six ninety nine. Gross. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Number colon number number. We've seen those before. Oh, but they don't really kind of match up because the ones that we saw hidden on the bathroom wall were like zero zero twenty and stuff. And we have a 620 and a 120, but that's about it. So, red herring. Shimala, Tandoori takeaway. And Dragon Inn, free delivery. Dowerton High Street. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Camera three. I guess there's some sparkly lights and a weird blurriness in the middle. You can see the way that lamp is clear and this one is blur on it. Shh. Okay. 240403. 240403. 2114. 2113. So he was there and then he was like, shh. Oops. But I don't really see much of a difference between the two pictures other than the second one's darker and grainier. Hmm. Okay, well, what have we got on the table? Ah, a dictaphone. So we have play. I'm leaving this message just in case something terrible is happening in this hotel. Nigel is gone. I don't know where. He was behind me and then... Then, well, he's gone. Read my journal, if you haven't already. We should never have come here. We were not prepared. We discovered something using the thermo scanner. I've written the settings in a safe place. Upstairs, in the bathroom, find them. We have sealed the chamber back up, but it's only temporary. If you find the settings, you may gain access and perhaps find Nigel. Please, God, let him be all right. I cannot connect either online or by phone. I'll have to venture beyond this room. I think it's gone. It was outside the door. Now is the time to make a move. Wish me luck. Well, I guess poor Polly picked a rather poor time to leave the room. Seems the thing was just outside, so we have to read her journal. And that uh, will hopefully give us clues towards this thermo scanner malarkey. Uh, but that is going to have to wait until the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time on Von Milhausen Plays Darkfall The Journal.